Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to ETF12. We've got a week five official coming up between Top 5 Rocket and the bus crew. I'm here with a fellow American friend, TC Mano, and we've got Harris on the production for the first time. How are you doing today, TC? I am doing spectacularly. I've got a cup of tea right here ready to drink while I enjoy this hopefully spectacular game, or at least pretty close. Um, you know, uh, Top 5 Rocket and Bus Crew, they've been having maybe a, a bit rougher starts this season. They are kind of at the lower end of the table just right now. So, you know, they kind of want these wins to get them into that playoff contention area, which they still are in. So if they can get this win convincingly, I think it would do wonders for the rest of their season. But before we, too, uh, we talk too much about the rest of the season, let's go over the rosters a bit. Um, but if you want to take uh, Top 5... Sure, we've got top five, the uh, the long-standing mix of Frenchies that work their way into every season or every other season over here in Europe. We've got Martin on Medic, uh, Warped and Poison usually on the Soldiers, but if, if my server isn't lying to me, it looks like we've got Sylves on the Merking uh, role for Poison tonight. And then Hempus uh, and Beavern on Scouts, I believe. Even also not on the main roster. Usually Slash is there, but we uh, we seem to have two mercs for the bus crew tonight. Yeah, and then on the side of top five rocket, we're gonna have Mula as your medic, Elicor as demo, Corbeck and Duo are gonna be your soldier duo with Neo and QB on the scout classes. And uh, you know this is this is product. So we should see a lot of action, a lot of uh, just back and forth DM fighting as one team readies up, uh, you know, Bum, uh, who do you expect to win this? I, I literally just noticed now that I introduced Top 5 Rocket and then read out the <laughs> other teams. Sorry for confusing you all there. But, um, I wasn't yeah. going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> who I expect to win this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Top 5. I mean, they've got a uh, lot of experience. The bus crew obviously have... Uh, experience to match. They've been around the core of Yon and uh, Martin and Poison has been like a core of bus crew that's been around for a hell of a long time in Prem, but they've never quite had the success that we've seen Top 5 Rocket have a lot of the time, and I'd, I'd say Top 5 is probably going to come out on top tonight. You know, I would have to agree, at least on product, because it's a very DM-heavy map. Elicor, you know, even my burger brain knows who Elicor is. You know, he has managed to just impress, I think, uh, most of the TF2 community with his uh, elegant pipes. And uh, on a DM-heavy map-like process, I mean product, uh, that is going to come into uh, very handy for the rest of his teammates to follow up on that damage. However, uh, who who would you say on the other side on the bus crew is gonna maybe stand out? If Elicor is the player to watch on top five, who who are the guys to watch on a bus crew? I think Warped is for sure the best player on on bus crew uh, tonight. With the two Mercs at least, he's definitely gonna be the one uh, to watch out for. Obviously, you've got uh, two uh, Prem debuts over on the side of. The bus crew being Hempus and Slash, obviously one of them not here tonight, so Beavern will be taking up the mantle. And while he's a more experienced scout over the whole course of the game's history, obviously, who can forget the olden days of Beavern, but I think uh, it'll hurt them not having their full roster for this official tonight. Uh, having two mercs is never ideal. So, yeah, I'd say watch out for... Um, for Warped. The Mercs are going to be ones to watch for as well. See if you can compare them to uh, how good the usual players are. Oh my goodness, is this a pre-game pause? I've never it seen this is. before. <laughs> it is a pre-game pause, so hopefully nothing too disastrous is going to happen when the game inevitably goes live. It does mean that the game is going to go live soon, so that is probably the one benefit of that pre-game pause is we know we are uh, soon to be expecting some high quality TF2 action as we just see the players will warm up their DM skills in this pregame server. If you had to give a score, yeah, I, I'm not saying you have to, but I'd highly encourage you to, Bum. 
what would you say the score would be? I, I'm personally feeling like a 4-2. Uh, wait, do you guys play to four? In we Europe? play. We play to three. And ah, <laughs> so there you yeah, go. that would be a that would be an interesting one if we managed four two. But yeah, I I think um, it's always very very difficult to tell in product week. Uh, it can pretty much be complete pot luck whether the team you expect to win on a five CP map will just have no idea how to actually play Viaduct or not. But yeah, tonight I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my guns and say that top five are probably gonna win this uh, three nil or three one, something convincing. All right, as we go ready here, we'll see if that prediction plays out. I am just gonna be a contrarian and say the bus crew wins in a stunning three two fashion. But as we come out onto this mid here, I am going to be watching the man, the myth, the legend, Elicor, see what he can do on this first mid fight. Just going to be lobbing some stickies over on the other side. Yon going in super aggressively. I think that is where the pause happened as it looked like he DC'd. So that is very unfortunate for the bus room. Elicor standing on point as well. Gets a pipe onto Sylves. And it looks like they're restarting it actually, Bum. Yeah, that's... That's polite of them. <laughs> Definitely not ideal to have your demo man just disconnect on the very first mid of the game. That was uh, Yon there having some kind of issue. But uh, yeah, the game's gonna restart. Pardon our fake little ready up there. Um, we're not rigging it on purpose. And everyone's readying up any second now, so we should be going live again soon. Yes, oh. we should. Hopefully it's gonna be better than a uh, Yon just pushing super aggressively up that a uh, left lane by uh, Dogbread. But um, as we go live here, I am once again gonna watch Elicor on this mid. You know, maybe he can still get a demo pick. Hopefully Yon isn't AFK while he gets it. It's gonna be rolling out through this cliff side. Gonna be taking that pack as both teams uh, come up onto this first mid we've got here. Luckily Yon not uh, DCing right away. So both demos just gonna be lobbing stickies across the point of each other. A big bomb coming in from Korbag just gonna be trying to make some space for his team. Yon going down super weak there as Dwo is picked up by Hemp right now. And that is gonna be Bus Crew kind of posturing on this right side, getting some uh, early cap time onto the point. Korbag on that big rock is gonna go down. Um, and back away trying to get some help that is gonna be Kubi going down on this right side flank area Neo taking down warped and it looks like the bus crew gonna have a successful first mid as a uh, looks like Neo Kind of trying to get onto that point But he is gonna back off and catch an arrow from his medic as uh, there's so much cap time on the point right now bum If the bus crew can just cap it up a huge bomb coming in from duo and that's gonna be the uber force Both ubers coming out right now and that is going to be the bus crew trying to take this across the point. They are going to back up as the Uber on the side of top five rocket is a little bit better. The point has not been capped so far. Beavern going down to a nice sticky from Elicor. Elicor going down as well. Duo bombing him. All the players are bombing in. And that looks like Warp going in super deep to find Mula. Oh my god. We're getting another one. On the Neil, the man is insane as you predicted. However, he does go down to Duo. And that looks like a very long but good midwit on the side of top five rocket. Yeah, very, very, very drawn out indeed. We actually saw this mid was a little bit different. It seemed like both teams actually had a chance to kind of adapt from that yonless false start we had at the, <laughs> at the start of the game. Uh, top five were a bit less aggressive, and then their bomb didn't work out quite as well uh, after, I guess, they uh, the bus crew saw what they might be up to in that, in that previous round. But it all works out in the end. Now the bus crew have their Uber charge. They're going to see what they can try and do with it. Top five in control of the point for now, just aiming to run as much of this time off the clock as possible. Yon starting to edge forwards, taking a bit of space while his scouts now tickle the point, just trying to cap it up for free. Both the scouts actually going to try and get a pick onto Duo on the concrete there, getting a bit far forwards. Elacor will make sure Hempus pays for it, but now the point is in Bus Crew's control. Yeah, they are trying to do as much as they possibly can. Uh, Martin is on that 100% uber charge, so they can block any attempt right now from top 5 rocket. As I say, that scout trying to get onto the point. A huge bomb in on the side of Korvac going in super deep. <laughs> getting one rocket on Martin. He is going to get the force there. I don't know how they let that happen, but a good force on the side from Korvac right now. That is going to be top 5 rocket with their uber in response. Flying in here, trying to catch up the scouts. Beaver so low, he does end up going down to a pipe from Elacor. That is going to be the rest of them. Trying to get on the yawn. Yon does go down. It is just Martin alive. Luckily, he managed to get out of that sticky predicament as uh, the cap goes up for top five rocket once again. 
warped, had an embarrassing moment. But we've, we're bombing out already. We're already taking all the space, getting out through main. There's all the players of bus crew just busting right now, but I don't know if it's working or not. Duo now going to get caught up, who was heading behind, but that's two players down for the bus crew. No soldiers at the moment. Yet in that previous fight, Warps tried to counter jump one of the soldiers who had forced him off and just cratered to himself entirely, just <laughs> killed himself out of that fight. <laughs> That is unfortunate to see, but maybe he can redeem himself here as it looks like his team is trying to get as much space as they possibly can. The Uber comes out on the side of Top 5 Rocket trying to go in. Catch up Martin, super low. He is going to die to a nice Rocket from Duo. Looks like Beaver going down as well, but uh, Martin goes down on the side of Top 5. I didn't even see that. Oh, I mean Mula. Mula goes down. We already knew Martin went down. It is just going to be a DM fight on point. It uh, looks like that is going to be the bus crew winning it. So uh, good job on them to a, uh, you know, their medic went down, but they got the enemy team's medic and they managed to get uh, a point right there, Bum. So a good uh, a good salvage moment from them. Yeah, I don't know if Mula uses the, the Solemn Vow, but that could have been a Solemn Vow moment there, just noticing that tiny 10% advantage and everyone on top five just committing for Martin before he can get it. Didn't work out in the end though, as Korbak is onto Martin once again, finds the air shot to take Martin down. Ooh. That's a nice one from him. Everyone just going to be trying to keep Moolah alive now as the sack wave comes in from the bus crew. Just trying to get in, but it's a complete crush. No one going down from the side of top five and wiping the bus crew off the server. That is how you do it. That is indeed how you do a textbook play on the side of top five rocket. Just huddling up together like penguins, keeping themselves warm and just protecting Moolah through all ends of whatever the bus crew throws at them. So the bus crew, you know, they're trying to bust through his right side with the pyro. That is going to be him taking that air blast. The bomb in from Corbett gets reflected into the air. He's going to get nothing with that. As it looks like Sylvs does go down, but they do manage to break this forward hold. So that is enough for them. Dewo bombing in super sky high onto the pyro once again, not finding anything. Hemp getting a shotgun, uh, little shotgun onto uh, Dewo there. So... Good job from them. Elicor is down on the side of top five, so that should be enough for the bus crew to try and peak this point as they do have better um, spawns right now because they do not have the point. That is going to be uh, the soldier flying across point, making some space for his team, going in super deep onto the China area. But Uber does come out on the side of top five rocket, just trying to get everything. The counter Uber is count used on the side of... Uh, Who's that? Bus crew right now. So much going on on the point. Looks like the bus crew has the better of this. Can they get? No, it's just Martin alive. Can he do anything? He is stuck behind this rock trying to do everything he can. He pulls out the head, but that is not enough. Yeah, Sylph's throwing his life away just to try and block for any more time, but he can't do it. Top five going to be the ones taking the first round. And it's, uh, it's seeming pretty dominant so far. I mean... The bus crew were in spawn for a hell of a lot of that round, even when they managed to bust out of the forward hold of top five. Top five always managed to make it difficult for them and never let them get the point off the back of it. Yeah, well, let's see if a, uh, this mid will be as close as the last one or as drawn out, depending on how you're looking at it. Both teams uh, taking it a bit slow, just playing their respective sides of the map. That is going to be warped going in for a bomb onto Elgor. He gets one rocket, but that is not enough to get the kill. However, on the side of the bus crew, it looks like they are backing up. They're an all in pretty bad health right now, as they're just going to take their kills. Sylvs is pretty aggressive, going to just jump back, uh, get back to his team. As it looks like, you know, this mid is following the last one, being fairly drawn out. Korbak getting on their pride rock, taking a lot of damage. It almost goes down. Elcor getting a pick on the beaver, and however, Duo bombing in super deep. It's going to manage to get out with a few pencil jumps somehow. Not sure how they let that happen. Korbak on that big rock, just pressuring Yon so much, getting so much damage. Sylvs on the flank, trying to do as much as he can, and it's not going to be enough. And that is going to be the mid-win for top five. Yeah, top five just so precisely splitting everyone up and doing enough damage and pressure to just sneak away with the point with no casualties. Now that Uber Trade is out over the point, it's significantly better for top five. But they've just busted the flank on the side of the bus crew at the same time, trying to get anything done. Hempus and Sylvs both going to fall. Warp's trying to get something as well, but that's just three down for free. Top five going to be able to push this forward, see if they can get any more picks and just pin them back into spawn. Yeah, we've seen this uh, same scenario 
for the bus crew. You know, they did manage to break it with a pyro. Looks like they are not opting for the pyro strat, instead trying to bust out through cliff and just pressure poor Elecor out of existence, which it looks like they managed to do somewhat successfully. So good thing from them, no players lost. Looks like Korbak is in the back lines. He's not gonna go for a play. He is just gonna get out and do the safe move. So that is gonna be the bus crew trying to get on to this point finally for the first time in this round specifically, as it looks like a lot of action coming up on this concrete area, gonna be pressuring the flank out on the side of a uh, top five rocket, but Neo taking down two picks, uh, getting two picks of his own right there. So that is gonna hold all of that aggression. Ubers are even, so if top five really want to, they can take this Uber in and just get more time off the point. But the bus crew gonna do it first, going in with their demo they use on the Elecor that is going to be top five just walking across the point calmly trying to get all the frags they possibly can it looks like this is going to be a fragless uber exchange somehow as the bomb comes in from the side of Silves, getting a lot of damage on the duo but that is not the pick you want to try and go for if you're him as it looks like uh that has been enough for bus crew to cap up this point but with all the players up on the side of top five rocket it looks like they should be able to cap this up right back pretty easily bum yeah, nicely played from top five. You don't, you don't need any frags in that Uber exchange. The entire point of it is you're just running time off the clock. They pick up Sylvs after the Uber and they know, okay, as, as if they cap, we're just getting it straight back anyway. Uh, managing to bully out the players with that one player advantage. So now 60 seconds left on the clock for top five. Whereas Bus Crew barely have a sliver of time even knocked off their clock. They're gonna have to manage to come up with something better than just an Uber trade and hope for the best here. Yon once again going forwards, the Uber is out, they force off Mula very quickly, Yon just gets dropped from it trying to jump behind or getting juggled or something, he gets destroyed out of that Uber, so this should be going top 5's way immediately afterwards, now Korbak and Duo have both bombed in, Duo's been cleaned up, but yeah, there's no pressure on the point for uh, Bus Crew at all, they are bombing in now though, Silv's gonna pick up some frags, but Mula... He's fighting for his life in name. He, he actually manages to what? escape. Oh. How does that manage to happen? The bus crew now need a flawless round from this point on, though. I mean, top five are going to be able to repush this very shortly, and they only need 10 seconds after they get their hands on the point. Uh, if they are feeling a bit cheeky, they can even try and do this right now as Ubers are not a play. Neither team has Uber, as it looks like that's what they're trying to do, trying to take this dry fight. Elcor getting a lot of stickies across the point, doing good damage for his team. That is going to be Korbak on that Pride Rock, just spamming down rockets. Uh, they're playing the cap time, just trying to force Bus Crew's hand right now because they know they cannot let them cap. As even though it is not overtime, it may as well be only 14 seconds for top five. It looks like they are going to be managing to pressure them out, but the Uber Force comes out from a nice bomb from Korbak to get that. Jan flying in super deep, just trying to get all the damage he can while he's still flash. Not going to really get anything there, and that is going to be the Bus Crew trying to back out of dodge as the Uber from top five comes in. Only really finds uh, Duo right there, so probably not the best they could have done. Actually, only finding Beaven right there, so not ideal, but they do still have better spawns, and they're going to try and use that to try and cap up this point. A huge bomb from a soldier coming out on the Elecourt, managing to get him down. That is the aggression you want to see from the bus crew right now. Neo super low. Oh, he does go down. Nice sticky from Yon to get him, and uh, looks like the bus crew trying to do the impossible here and getting a lot of time off this point. Let's see if they can do it for another minute 30. Yeah, they've had so much time off this point just from this one situation. Again, having an Uber uh, advantage after Mula using slightly later in the exchange, but the point has just been capped from under their nose. QB has managed to get on top of it. Now, this is so much pressure on them. They do use off the Uber just to try and get across the point. There's two seconds left. They do manage to force off the overtime, but now the force of the Uber is out from top five. This collapse could be devastating for the bus crew, and it looks like it is. Frags all over the board, but they're all coming out in favor of top five in the end. Just Hempus left alive to make a hero play in the 1v4. That's not going to happen. So the top five managed to take this second round very cleanly there. Looked a bit hairy at the end, but I don't think they were ever really in doubt that they were going to come out on top. Nah, they just took their time, knew they had a lot of time to work with. And it showed because even though a good try from the bus crew, they could not manage to do the nigh impossible and keep it for basically three whole minutes. But 
as we come up onto this third midpoint in a very aggressive bomb from Korvac going sky high with another bomb on the side of d -Wo doing so much damage and confusion gonna take down Yon really early into this fight Elicor is down however on the side of top five and it looks like everyone on the side of bus crew is just tr gonna try and aggress forward onto them pressuring them out a bomb from d -Wo trying to get onto Martin and he does get onto Martin so that is gonna be the saving grace for top five right now as the rest of the soldiers oh my Mula is so low just duking and dodging in this cliff area oh my god he managed to dodge i think two soldier bombs so really great job from him and what was looking like a oh, good mid -win. Spawn. Oh, oh god that was scary martin just walked out for a second into a team where he had no backup <laughs> that could have been very bad but he manages to regroup this team in time before his mistake really mattered but yeah, yeah, now there's a there's a pseudo forward hold, just call back spotting things out. Hempus was on the pyro if there was any pressure there, but he's gonna go and switch back now. Top five still have this full Uber advantage and once again in control of the points. So it's looking good for them. This might just be a sack wave. Yeah, everyone's just bombing in from the side of top five. Moolah on the top of that balcony behind the house. No one even gets a scratch on him. Beavern, last one to run in, he's gonna go down. So, unsuccessful sack wave, but now at least the Ubers will be even for the next push. I felt so bad for Sylves there. He tried to bomb off of that pride rock, but Alicor read him like a book, had a trap there, and he just blew up instantly. You know, as a soldier myself, I feel his pain, but regardless, that is uh, very sad to see. As uh, Elicor is going to be abandoning this cliffside area, going down super low, a nice pick from Beavern to get that demo. So that is should be enough for the bus crew to try and get onto this point right now. That is going to be Silves jumping in a bit too aggressively away from his team. He is going to be picked out, and what was a good demo pick from them is probably not going to be enough to go on. As it looks like they are getting forward holded again. So uh, great job on the side of Top 5 Rocket to uh, make lemonade out of lemons and uh, convert that demo pick into a uh, fervor uh, just keeping their hold on this point right now, Bum. Yeah, it was a good job from them to take that. Uh, in fact, screw that. Everyone's just bombed straight in from the bus crew. They're deep as they can possibly be. Duo trying to get onto Martin, who just manages to survive after that nice surf. Everyone just went balls to the wall. They knew this is our only opportunity to get in before the Ubers become even. After that, it becomes a hell of a lot more difficult to make any movement on this map. You need to get rid of the Ubers first to be able to fight for the points. So they just went for it and it came out on top for them in the end. So now we do see Korbak and Duo going for another one of their Doa bombs. Duo does get onto Martin. Martin oh, has to the force. force. Oh, that is so devastating on the side of the bus crew because Mula is just sitting in this cliffside with that 100% holding steady as they can just use in any time here. The bus crew has to pull out all the stops right now to make sure they can keep on to this point. Uh, still a minute left on the side of top five rockets. So even if they do cap up, there is enough time for the bus crew to try and get back into this. Silv's going down to uh, his own accord. So kind of unfortunate, but Uber is you. So that is what you want to see if you're the bus crew right now. And it looks like they do manage to keep Martin alive, which is a uh, a bit of a difference between all the other times they have gotten the force. So they have a forward hold to contend with. They have managed to break it fairly consistently. So this shouldn't be the end for them, but they do have to act quick here, Bum. Yeah, there's 50 seconds against them now. They do have this Uber charge advantage, which could catch top five if they get a little bit too close. Mulas on the stairs, ready to get out, but it's used around the corner. Yon bombing forwards with the Uber, not managing to find ev anything. Everyone just scatters perfectly from top five. They've wasted and baited this Uber. Now the rebombs from the soldiers onto the point to try and block it. Not quite enough as Duo goes down very low. Everyone getting forced oh, backwards. Oh, he gets the drop on Mula. Oh my God. That was insane. It looked like Mula had managed to get out of there. Mula did a really great surf from uh, this, like, below China onto China, and I thought he was safe, and he went into Cliff, but a huge bomb from the other soldier on the side of the bus crew managed to get that force, and that is the plays you need if you're the bus crew right now. Finally, in a forward hold of their own, the first time in this entire map. So let's see if they can hold it. Not looking oh, quite they so. Get Martin instantly. Oh. <laughs> that is not what you want from your first forward hold as the bus crew. Martin just gets single soldiered, I think. Just the soldier goes out over the top, gets onto Martin really, really easily. That's been one of the problems so far, I do think, for the bus crew. There was 
In fact, last mid-fight, I think, uh, Martin surfed, like, two rockets, and this single soldier, who was just chasing him down all the way across mid, managed to get three rockets into him without going down. I think maybe a mistake by the, uh, the scouts of the bus crew not able to deal with these soldiers fast enough, but the top five haven't got hold of the point yet. It's still in the game for the bus crew. Now the Uber does come out from top five, but looks like they're going to get their money's worth. Yon actually does just manage to live, but callback in once again. Oh Martin my manages God. to surf away around that corner. Beautiful movement to stay alive. Silv's now in on a bomb on his own, but he's not going to get anything from that. The 5v4 now still in favor of top five. They've capped the point up again with 25 seconds left on their clock. This is very down to the wire this round. Yes, it is. Luckily, Martin did not die there, so he is going to be coming up on 80%. Just about going to have this Uber to block this point. They should be able to get before it goes into overtime, but they are going to have to use it quick as they do, launching Yawn into them, going super deep, trying to get all the damage they possibly can. Hopefully someone is standing on that point. There's no one. Fight. They just barely managed to get out of it. That was looking pretty rough, but everyone on the side of Bus Crew is going down right now. It is just right now warped alive, and he cannot take that 1v3 as it is a 3-0 for top 5 Rocket, as you said, pulling it out pretty convincingly. What a uh, what a game, Bum. What a game. Yeah, just not able to irk it out at the end there, bus crew. They went so, so deep trying to get onto Moolah at the cost of both their own medic and two other players. So even though they get onto Moolah, it's, it's not worth it when you end up in the 5v3 afterwards anyway. Yeah, the, uh, the bus crew just seemed thoroughly outclassed throughout most of that game by top five there, I think. Yeah, as we uh, begin to look at the uh, logs, take a little quick peek on here as we move on to the next map. But, uh, you know, probably the big thing, Elicor hit him at 376, but Jan actually just barely managed to edge him out, hitting him at 381. He is going to be your uh, top damager. So, you know, Jan was definitely pulling his weight, at least in the damage department. Got to see at the top frags, it is going to be QB, probably to be expected. You know, product is a uh, scout frag map. So, you know, he's doing the work with a nice solid 335. But uh, I think probably the big difference is Mula only having four deaths and Martin having seven. And in a, uh, a, in a mode like Cop where, uh, you know, a med def can meet 40 seconds off the clock, that's a, that's a pretty big discrepancy, I think. Yeah, and you say it's to be expected uh, from QB, but I'm going to give him a little shout out. It's not his not his usual class. He's playing scout for the first time off of off of demo this season, and he's uh, not the person you'd point at expecting them to be the star on top five. So managing to get out uh, the top damage, obviously, as you say, it's a very favorable scout map, but good on him nonetheless. And yeah, there's there's definitely a um, I wouldn't say it's a medic discrepancy. I genuinely think it's um, more of a protecting the medic discrepancy <laughs> that is what is going so badly for the bus crew, at least on their King of the Hill performance. But uh, it's a whole new mode. It's a whole new map. Snakewater plays incredibly differently. So uh, hopefully they can have a complete mental reset and uh, do a little bit better on the standard game mode. I agree. You know, this is the time for the bus crew to to get back in it, to roll up in the bus, show the top five. You know, they're on the hit list. This bus is going full speed or, you know, maybe not full speed, depending on how they want to play it. We'll see. You know, maybe they want to park the bus. Maybe they want to drive the bus super aggressively. I, I don't know. I just hope they have a driver's license bum. As uh, as we get into snake water, do you expect uh, a similar uh, performance from both of these teams? Do you think that maybe the bus crew t can take it uh, maybe a bit more closely or, you know, even eke it out a little bit? Uh, it might be a little closer, but I still think... I mean, I'd, I'd favor top five Rocket if it was both of the teams on their full roster, to be completely honest, but... When it's uh, top five rocket versus the bus crew and the bus crew have two mercs who aren't in their usual roster, it gets even more tricky from there. I'm not going to completely write the bus crew off, but I, I do think it definitely still favors top five coming into this map as well. 
I would have to agree. I'm particularly excited for these mids as Snakewater, probably known as the Soldier Double Bomb, uh, Med Go Bye Bye type of uh, mid. So I'm going to see if they, uh, we see a similar type of thing from the side of Top 5 Rocket. Maybe just send their uh, soldiers in super deep trying to get on the poor old Martin as it uh, worked pretty well on a product so maybe they can try and replicate that success over here on snake mid but a uh, you know as when we get into five cp especially when we get into stalemates we, we start talking about you know uh, off classes do you think we're gonna see any off classes maybe uh maybe a sniper maybe a spy maybe even a heavy you know we saw some pyro but uh we didn't really see him aside from just breaking that forward hold would you expect to see any off-classing from any of these teams, Bomb? Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely going to be some off-classing. It's snake water. It's stereotypically a, a pretty uh, tricky last, both in and out. So teams usually just pull out a desperation sniper or spy at least a few times and see if that works out. Uh, I do think the bus crew are quite a fan of banners in those sorts of situations, though. I'm not sure... Um, if they'll be comfortable or if Silvers will be uh, a fan of banners himself. Um, but I think that's that's a usual bus crew card when it gets down to uh, to the real slow parts of the game. But yeah, there, there'll be a sniper or a spy at some point for sure. All right, so we got, a, uh, we got some cheeky off glasses, maybe even a banner if we're lucky. Uh, to expect maybe on the side of the bus crew, maybe, you know, top five rocket, you know, so look at that banner theory and whip it out themselves and uh, try and play bus crew at their own game. But, you know, as we're just readying for teams to uh, ready up, uh, we are, this is once again week five, uh, season 38 of EFT, 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 uh, <laughs> yes, I can never, I can never say it. Uh, we're, uh, Week five of that league, uh, this is going to be top five rocket versus the bus crew. This is a map two. If you didn't quite catch the map one, that was product uh, bus crew lost it, unfortunately, to top five rocket uh, in quite convincing fashion. Hopefully we can see them try and change the tides here on snake water as, uh, you know, just watching this pregame action, seeing some pyros go around, maybe see some Elicor hitting some nutty pipes. Uh, looks like one team has managed to ready up, so we should be going live soon, hopefully, as long as, uh, you know, these classic TF2 players with their breaks, you know, is one, one day it's, uh, oh, be right back, I gotta walk, go walk my dog, you know, I had a teammate once, bum, I get this, I had a teammate in the middle of our, of our, uh, official say, uh, hey, I gotta pause, I gotta, gotta go make my bed. <laughs> And, How uh, old was this teammate? Hopefully not, like, being told off by his mom uh, when he's, uh, like, 30, old, right? <laughs> older <laughs> than you might expect. However, we are going live, so it looks like all of the players have already made their beds or they are just sloppy. Um, as we go in onto his first mid fight, going to be watching Jan as he lobs stickies across the point. Getting pretty aggressive on that point area, gonna back up to his medic. A huge bomb on the side of Warp going in super deep, following up with Silves. Gonna be taking down Neo as it looks like all of the bus crew getting in super aggressively. That is gonna be Mula. Everyone going down. It is just Dwo and Korback left alive. Korback going in for a miracle play. He does manage to find Warped, but that is the change you want to see if you're the bus crew right now, going up in full force. Maybe taking a uh, top five a little bit uh, by surprise there. Yeah, they literally just did go six men deep and managed to find everything they wanted. Unfortunately, Martin ended up on the opposite side of uh, the mid to his scouts at the end there and got and also whiffed his surf, which is never what you want to see. So Korbak got a very easy two rocket onto him, evening things out for now. So still going to be top five's second to play for. But this is one of the best maps for just dry busting. When neither team has Uber, you can just walk out of lower and see what you can get, which... It looked like uh, uh, the bus crew were trying to do for a second there, but they've Ooh. lost two. That turns into three. They still have no Uber, so they can't play this close. Martin has to get back as fast as possible with Hempus running him out. Hempus is going to lose his life as well, though. The chase could be on onto Jon and Martin. Duo bombing straight in. Oh, that's a narrow miss of the air shot, but Martin will get the pack at least. 
things are going to even out, but there's no forward spawners for the bus crew. The players are still rolling out, which allows plenty of free space on grass for top five. Yeah, it looks like Corbett going in with a high bomb, getting one rocket onto the medic, but he is going to back up with his life. QB going to be taking the bound warp, and Corbett coming back once again, getting another rocket on the Martin. Martin's all the way down in Africa, trying to reconnect with his team. The Uber is going to be used. Looks like uh, everyone on top five just going to try and kite this far away in that yard area as a, uh, everyone on the bus crew recognize they have to get the heck out of there. On to our last point, looks like we might try to start seeing some off classes as looks like everyone on uh, Elkor's team is going to be trying to go in through this shutter area. Looks like they are going to finally use through, maybe, someday? No, nope, we're just going to try and milk it as long as they possibly can, doing as much work finally. The Uber does come out onto the scouts and demo. That is going to be the soldiers on the side of the bus crew just jumping around, trying to cause as much distraction as possible. Everyone, though, on the side of the bus crew going down. It is just warped in its medical life. Yawn coming up as a respawner, I believe. Going to be trying to get as much damage on the point. It is just Martin alive. And that is going to be the first round for top five rocket. What was a good mid, mid win for the bus crew turns into a sad uh, round one loss. Yeah, it's all over as soon as Martin surfs down into Africa there. Unfortunate to get juggled off. He basically either had to die or use and waste three seconds of his uber climbing back up and healing the players who were already low due to the separation. And then from there, top five knew they don't even have to use. They milk it into last because there's no sentry and they get an easy conversion. So we're into this second mid. Warped's going to be bombing fast again. Everyone on the bus crew trying to replicate what they did last time, but it's not working out at all this time. Hempus and Warped, last men standing. Warped's coming in from behind. Oh, but Elacor Ooh. reads him like an open book with that debt. The trap was already ready, and they will just cap this up and keep their full advantage. Yeah, you know, it was looking, you know, if, if, I, if I were uh, a, a dumber man, it looked like uh, everyone on the side of bus crew had that in the bag. You know, they had the high ground, they had the positioning, but, you know, Top 5 Rocket just bundled up in that lower area and managed to get all the picks from the disconnected a uh, bus crew players. So really great job from Top 5 Rocket to get that mid win, adapting to uh, bus crew's uh, mid tactics as it looks like they are going to be trying to come in here with this 100% uber. Beavern is on the sniper man. Can he get a cheeky pick before the uber? He cannot. Silv's going to be levitated into the air going down super early. Elcor going to be taking down the sentry gun. So much cap time on the point. They just cap it up. We're like that, you know. You don't need to get the picks if you get the point bomb. Yeah, they just take tower side for free with that kill on Silv's. Walk it forward to the point and put some people on it. That's uh, all you really need to do. <laughs> that is indeed all you really need to do at the end of the day. The bus crew hopefully maybe can try something different this mid, uh, you know, first time it did work for them. That is going to be Duol going in super early on to Yon, getting a lot of damage, but Yon does not go down, staying alive with a quick arrow from his medic, as it looks like the bus crew is going to be trying to play this high ground as of uh, everyone on the bus crew is basically on the high ground right now just trying to get all the damage on the mula mula going up in the air managing to live though as it looks like uh neo is going to be taking down silves beaver and going down that is going to be warped super high in the sky as it looks like top five rocket is edging across the point trying to get as much damage as they can yawn with a nice pipe onto elicor so they are down a demo on the side of top five rocket this is basically uh oh my god what was mula doing on the point right there he's completely disconnected i don't know if that's Dwo baiting his medic or Dwo making the smart play and getting the heck out of there but mula had no fears there whatsoever yeah i think uh he was trying to heal a player on the point who just got dropped like a second beforehand and then Dwo was so low he was going for the pack instead of hanging around so Looked stupid from Moolah, but I think he had no outs anyway. This is looking to be uh, Bus Crew's second, but Dwo straight onto Martin. Oh, an easy force. He just hides in cheese, walks out straight above Martin. No one's even looking and gets that free. Not only the 100 damage rocket, but forces Martin downwards to take a little bit of fall damage as well, I think, which just scared the life out of him. Had to pop off his Uber there, which is not ideal for the Bus Crew. No, it is not ideal, but you know, if you are a uh, top 5 rocket right now, you do have this 100% uber and a sentry gun. Korbak going down isn't going to be great for the push-up, but Elicor 
taking down the demo. That's what you want to see if you are top five rocket right here. As it looks like they are moving in to this lobby area, going to be managed to take down Sylves. Uh, Sylves does get Elicor, however, so that should maybe halt this uh, blue push out. No, it looks like they are going to go through it regardless as they move on to this point right here. Actually, no, it looks like they are backing up, recognizing that. Uh, there is a bit of uh, Beaver in the back lines, sowing some, uh, some, uh, what's the word? Dissonance. That's the one I'm looking for. Dissonance in the back lines as uh, basically just denying that push out. So a really great job from the players on the bus crew to hold on to the second point as Martin is back on that Uber. Dwo on the sneaky, sneaky spy. Maybe he can try and get something, Bum. I think he's just checking for off classes, seeing as some of the bus crew died there. But yeah, oh. it's uh, it's very, very difficult to push out this last with just a Uber charge advantage. But Yon there was just like, here you go, I'll help you out with that. And pretty much died for free, giving them an opportunity <laughs> to push out. But then, um, yeah, it, it didn't quite go as top five planned. Sylv sacks into the sentry. Beaven also throwing his life away on last there. QB will out DM him on the engineer class. And now with two players down, we can start to see some peaks from uh, top five. Neo and Korbak both busting with their medic, actually forcing warps off of that position. They're going to be able to get out into second here, have a little bit of a fight on the point. The Uber is used off from Moolah first, but they do get the pick onto warp before the trade comes out in response. And this just looks like it's all top five space now. Duo picking up Yon with the help of Neo in lower as well there, which might keep things going. Oh, the wall is so though. low. Uh, yeah, that was a really great job from Top 5 Rocket as they are looking like they're gonna try and go through this lower. Duo was so low there and there was a soldier in window if they just shot a rocket at him, he could have gone down. Duo catching another arrow on this uh, left side on Catwalk as it looks like uh, looks like all of our, everyone on the bus crew are just giving up a lot of space right now as they are trying to keep on to this midpoint. Uh, looks like the bombs from the soldiers going in super deep. That is gonna be Sylvs getting on the QB. Maybe not the pick you want, but a pick regardless that oh. is gonna be on getting two really great pipe from yon onto neo and elicor and that is gonna be everyone on the side of top five rocket just backing the heck out of there d wall going for miracle play on the martin he gets the pick and that is gonna be disastrous for them as mula coming up on this 100 percent uber in this lobby area looks like korbak gonna be peeking it a little bit no just gonna be waiting for the rest of his team and players before they do this push out bump yeah, Martin has been so killable throughout this best of two so far. And again, he just goes down there to that single soldier with pretty much no one left alive from top five. Those are the situations where you really can't let your medic get away with dying. I don't understand how it's happening so often. Now Sylv's in with a sack onto Muad, doesn't even land it. He gets the second rocket, but it's easily surfed. Beavern hiding behind this crate. Will he get checked? He doesn't. He has three shots on Mula's back, but he's not hitting them. He oh does my God. now finally force off Mula and delay a little bit. So good job from Beavern to at least uh, get his team the advantage, but they're losing mid either way. Yes, they are. You know, uh, not really the adjective you want to hear if you're Martin killable. Especially as a medic, <laughs> you yeah, know, probably not ideal. Hopefully he can stay alive in this uber push as it looks like they're going to try and take it through Kitchen. Going to be having to fight these two players first. They are going to get one in Duo and the next in QB. So already pretty okay as an uber getting two for the uber force. That is going to be all right as it looks like they are going to manage to get this mid capture as well. So it looks like we are in a bit of a leapfrog scenario. Uh, bum as everyone on uh, top five rocket just playing super back as uh, Probably that is gonna be a uh, bus crew trying to peek this actually they go in for Sylves making a lot of space right now before uh, Everyone on top five can get their players back up taking a lot of space. Hopefully they can get bullet Yes, they do get the uber force now. This is good. Hopefully they can not lose any other players Oh, uh, Beaver and Sylves go down as it looks like duo is in super deep. They managed to pick him up so they should be uh, able to uh, defend this midpoint here, Bum. Yeah, Beaven went behind during that uh, sack process. So two picks means that top five are able to at least flip-flop this again. As you say, they'll get control of mid, but then we'll see the repush with the Ubercharger advantage. Looks like they're ready to walk from Saw already, just clearing the stickies there. Sylves and Hempus leading the march. They do get through the door now. Just use it off as Young gets a bit juggled and caught in the door there. They're not going to be able to chase any further because of it. So they only managed to get QB. 
but they look like they're trying anyway. They know that uh, Mula doesn't have the Uber yet. They still have this opportunity to bust through. Yeah, looks like both soldiers flying in high, getting a lot of damage on the Mula. Mula is going to back out into safety of that lobby area. No, actually committing back on the bats, but it doesn't matter as everyone else on the side of Top 5 Rocket is going down. It is just Korback, the demo. QB now a respawner coming back up as it looks like he's going to meet his team in this lobby area. Elicor getting a nice pipe on the Sylves. But that is not going to be enough to stop this capture up on the side of Bus Crew. However, they are going to get the heck out of there. Korbak going in super deep for a play on the mark. And he does manage to get him again. That is not what you want to see. He was still at Uber Dissat. But now this is a full Uber ad on the side of Top 5 Rocket. That is going to be Mula walking in through this lower area. It looks like Sylves oh, is in this Sylves saw. and Beaven are so caught. They're not even going to have to use her Top 5. This is what I mean. Martin completely surrounded by players of his own color and one single soldier gets in and kills him. It seems so often at this point and now top five are able to roll it all the way forwards. Yon actually going down on second as well. This is surely going to be around here. They still have 100% Uber while Yon and Sylves are down. They're going to leave one to cap and just bust into last already. No time for a gun. Hempus on the sniper does hit one shot onto Duo. But the rest of the team is already flooding through lower. The Uber is out from top five here. They've already got Neo on the point. There's no sticks because Yon was down. So there's a lot of cap time. Korbak will rebomb the point and this is it. They're just going to play the point and cap this up. Top five, 3 0, oh, looking very, very dominant on both maps tonight. Oh, you know, it's, it's super sad. You know, if you're Bus Crew or you're a Bus Crew fan, because every time it looks like they have momentum, Martin, like you said, Bob, he's just so killable. I don't know what it is, but it's I don't even think it's his fault. You know, he's like you said, he's surrounded by his own players and he just gets picked up. You know, hopefully in this mid, he can stay alive. Even if his team loses the mid, it would prove maybe a turning point in this game. As it looks like a soldier bombing in super deep, that is going to be Korbak going into the back lines. As it looks like everyone on the side of his top drive rocket area playing up this high ground pretty expertly. It is now just warped alive going in. He does manage to pick up Mula, so that is going to be really good for his team managing to get that pick. They are probably not going to be able to hold second here as Korbak goes up super aggressively into this lobby area, but at least they are not at 100% disad bomb. Yeah, it's uh, it's the best of a bad situation, I suppose, managing to get the <laughs> medic there. That uh, The Moolah actually has the uh, the Kritzkrieg, and Korbak hiding in lobby, he's just going to jump out while, uh, while the bus crew try and make some space here. They're going to be able to bust out, but Sylves has gone so very low, so has Warps. They're both on tiny amounts of HP, and actually there's just a back. What? QB ran through lower, all that time manages to just get it for free. Uh, yeah, there oh. we go. 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. I, I can't even put in the words how sad I'm feeling for the bus crew right now. You know, I'm not saying that they had that round in the bag, but it looked like that push out was going pretty swell for them. They managed to find a pick out, but you know, hopefully they can change the tides on this mid. This is do or die for them if the rounds uh, continue in the fashion that they've been going. Looks like they're trying to go once again for the six man strat, just flying in everyone on the side of the bus crew right now. Bon Jan is super low, managed to find an arrow from his med, so he's gonna stay alive. QB getting another arrow. Uh, arrow right now as it looks like uh, Jan gonna be getting out you know they did not win that it's mid but sad. luckily Martin is alive it is crit sad right now but hopefully they should be able to get regardless you just have to pray if you're Martin right now you do not fall victim to this crits however as uh, the rest of the game has been going no oh, 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 oh. Martin dies to the very first sticky. I'm not. It didn't even have a crit icon in the in the kill feed. Did he just no. have sticks down before it even popped off? I don't know if that was even him dying to the crits. I think he just died. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that is disgusting. And this is over, ladies and gentlemen. Kovac already on last. Yon and Martin fall right at the end. That's a 5-0 and a 3-0. Top five rocket just clearly proving they're the better team tonight. GG's all round. That was not a nice way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even think it was the crits. He just stood on stickies. That, <laughs> like you said, really great job from top five rocket to win that very convincingly.
However, if you're the bus crew, you cannot help but feel a bit sad, very sad, some level of sadness, as a uh, that is not the way you want things to go. Uh, as a, we uh, begin to look at these snake water logs, once again looking at it, Mula only dying three times, Martin dying the eight times. Uh, at that point, you know, you think maybe even the rest of his stats don't even matter. However, I am going to take a quick peek at them. Elicor, once again, hitting that 337, doing work for his team on the kill side of things. That is going to be Korback on the Soldier, actually, getting the top frags going 16 and 7. So he's having a pretty good game. Everyone really on the side of top five having a good game. Basically, no one on the side of a bus crew, unfortunately, having a good game as a... Uh, Wow, we were <laughs> Bob. That was uh, quite the showing from top five. Yeah, there's there's only so much you can look at logs in a five zero in fifteen minutes. You know, I think <laughs> uh, basically everything went better for top five, and definitely, yeah, as we mentioned, Martin getting caught a hell of a lot. They're just these uh, unfortunate situations where he ends up in the wrong place uh, before the Ubers or something like that, and. Uh, top five know how to punish it and they do punish it and yeah there's there's not much more to be said at least top five were uh sorry at least the bus crew were putting in some work on on those mids they won two out of the five mids but uh never convincingly enough it seemed it seemed like only a matter of time before they were already back to their own second agreed you know they had the like you said they had those moments of a uh hope but that hope was then uh, swiftly uh, swatched out of their grasps as Martin unfortunately died. But, you know, uh, that is a good if you are top five rocket. That does help your uh, playoff future if you're uh, looking towards that, which they are inevitably looking forward to. Uh, looking forward for the bus crew. They have a, uh, a fight up against uh, Nerd Rage and Global Clan EU coming up in the following weeks. So a uh, Nerd Rage looking pretty good this season from what I've seen. So that should be a tough match for the bus crew. You know, not saying they can't do it, but a, uh, they have some work ahead of them on the side of Top 5 Rocket. However, their remaining matches for the season looks like they are uh, going to be going up against Aura Alexia, uh, Electro, and Nerd Rage as well. So uh, once again, probably some of the topper teams in the, in the division, correct me if I'm wrong, Bum. So uh, that should be exciting games for uh, Top 5 Rocket to maybe further secure their playoff potential. Yeah, I think uh, Top 5 are also playing Faint tomorrow, which is actually their, they've played their Week 5 game before their Week 4 game because of scheduling issues. So they'll be... Uh, back on screen again tomorrow, I believe. I could be wrong here, but yeah, that should be a closer one than this. Hopefully, top five looking for that playoff spot. We'll see if they'll be able to upset Faint, get any points off them as Global Clan managed to get earlier in the season. So uh, that'll be an exciting one to look out for, yeah. Yes, and uh, as a uh, as the dust settles, a great job to top five Rocket taking it convincingly. And unless we have anything else, I guess we're going to wrap it up here. Do you have any shout-outs, uh, Bum? Uh, shout-out to the viewers and the teams. All right. Uh, shout-out to the viewers. Shout-out to the teams. Shout-out to my team, uh, whatever that roster may be, uh, as we go into the next season of RGL. But, you know, shout out to all of you lovely viewers. Once again, shout out to Harris on production. His first time doing it. I'm sure he did a swell, amazing job. Uh, and that is going to be it for us over here at TFTV. You've been watching uh, if 2 tl <laughs> uh, you know the league, uh, season 38, week 5, top 5 Rocket versus a uh, the bus crew. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.